you guys welcome back to uh, math for the last chapter um, of this year and it's chapter 20 and we're gonna do lesson one and lesson two and then we're all done with our math book yay give yourself a pat on the back for finishing it strong you guys have worked so hard all right so money you have a penny a nickel a dime and a quarter. How much is a, do you know how much a penny is worth? One cent, okay? Uh, so we are going to be comparing, matching them with how many cents there are. So a penny is only worth one, but the rest of the coins are worth by like 10, or not tens, but by five. So you can count usually by fives to be able to find it. All right, so here. How much is the penny worth? Is it worth 5 cents, 25 cents, 1 cent, or 10 cents? It is worth 1 cent. So we're going to connect it. Kiss your brain if you knew that. Good job. All right. How much is a nickel worth? Is it worth 5 cents, 25 cents, or 10 cents? It is worth 5 cents. How many pennies would you need to equal a nickel? Five. Five. Five pennies and you to equal a nickel. Good. How oh, this is a dime. What is a dime worth? 25 cents or a 10 cents? It is worth 10 cents. How many pennies does do you need to equal a dime? 10. And how many, ooh, stretch your brain. How many nickels do you need to equal 10 cents? Two, because you count by fives. Five. 10. Okay, so you need two nickels to equal a dime. All right, you have 20, you have the next one, a, um, a quarter, and a quarter is worth 25 cents. So if you had four quarters, then you would have a dollar or 100 cents. How many pennies do you need to equal a quarter? 25. How many Nickels do you need to equal a quarter? Oh, this one's going to start your brain. Ready? Count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. How many uh, nickels do you need? Five. Five nickels to equal a quarter. How many dimes do you need? Can you just use dimes to equal a quarter? No, because you have to have, you can have two dimes, so 10, 20, but you need that nickel to get the 25 cents. Good job. All right, let's do lesson two for money. So it says count the coins. How many pennies do you need? And we are going to color them. And I'm going to color my pennies um, in purple. So the airplane costs six cents. So how many pennies do I need? Well, let's count. One penny is one cent. Two pennies is two, th pe two cents. Three pennies is four cents. Four pennies is four cents. Do we have enough yet? Nope, because we're trying to get to six. Five pennies is um, five cents. And, and what we're trying to get to is six. And so six pennies. We need six pennies in order to equal um, six cents and get the airplane. Okay. So. Let's find out. Now, they're asking you to stretch your brain because you need to find out how many pennies you need to get a bear, teddy bear, and a dog. So let's do the teddy bear. So how much does a teddy bear need? Six cents. So how many pennies do we need to color in? Six pennies. Okay, let's color in six pennies. One, two, three, four five, six. All right, now we can get the teddy bear, but we want to get the dog too. Do we have enough to get the dog? It costs two cents. Do we have at least two more pennies? 
Yes. So one, two. How mon much penny, how many pennies did we use? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pennies. Or you could have just counted on because you know the six and you count on as seven, eight. Eight pennies. So this cost altogether is eight cents. Okay. Number three. How many pennies do I need to get the kite? Three cents. So we color in three pennies. One, two, three. And how much, how many cents do we need to get the doll? Five. So one, two, three, four, five. All right. How much cents do we need? Okay, we're going to do the count on method. So we know we have three, and we're going to count on four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cents to count that. Whoa. All right. This one, oh, this one's going to stretch your brain real big. So let's first, let's buy the duck. How much do we need? We need two cents. One and two. Okay, so we can buy the duck. Can we buy the robot? Do we have at least four cents? Yes. So count one, two, three, four. Oh, good job. All right, do we have enough to buy the mitt? Do we have at least three more cents? Three more pennies left. We do. All right, so let's buy the mitt. One, two, three. Oh, do we have any pennies left? Yes, one penny left. Okay, so let's count. How much, how much cents did we have to buy all of it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine cents to get all three of those things. Whoa, that's a bargain. Okay, ooh, this one's going to help you stretch your brain real big, okay? So we've learned that a nickel is worth five cents and a dime is worth 10 cents. So here is a hat, uh, not a, a house, not silly, a hat. No. Which purse has nine cents? So does purse A or purse B? Well, let's count. How much money does purse A have? Well, we have five, okay? So then we count on, is there any other bigger numbers that we can count? So we go five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, that one has nine cents, okay? How much does this one have? Well, the big number is 10 cents, so a dime. And is there something, is there a nickel in here? No. So let's count by just on by once. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we have 14 cents here. Which one? do we need in order to buy the house? Purse A. Good job. All right, let's do the next one. So here we have four cents for the car and two cents for the bat. Pat, the bat. So which one do we need? Let's count. How much do we have in purse A? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there's seven cents here. How much cents is in this one? Five, six, six cents. All right, so we know how many cents that we have, but do we know how much together it cost to buy both of them? So four cents, so four cents plus two cents equals four, and we're gonna count on five, six, six cents. So which one, which purse has six cents? Purse B. Whoa, that really stretched our brain. Great job. And you did it. That's the end. Great job.